or it's the definition of a first time buyer isn't necessarily what it seems. Uh, as long as you haven't owned a home in the past three years before you close on your new home, uh, means you're considered a first time buyer. Uh, and this is nationwide, all across the country. Now, that sounds weird, doesn't it? You can actually be considered, uh, for loan purposes, a first time buyer, even if you've owned a home before. And believe it or not, it can really work out in your favor. Because to be eligible for the first time home buyer programs, a lot of them, uh, to sometimes be able to get some government closing cost incentive or um, to get a small interest rate incentive, you'll need to be a first time buyer. So depending on the scenario, it can be a very important designation. Now you can't just cheat this part, okay? The title company handling your closing will run a title search on you and see if you've owned a home in the past three year period uh, before your closing date. And if they see you have, or if you currently have one, then you might be SOL, all right? You're going to either have to uh, drop the program and restructure your loan in most cases or lose your incentive. Uh, so be good, tell the truth, and ask me if this can help you out in purchasing your next home. Uh, guys, thank you. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about that little caveat to the first time home buyer designation.